Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. So we do on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The important news and editorial that will be relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 15th of March. The first important news that is RBI has permitted other countries bank to trade in rupees. We'll see the details how it will be executed. Second, center call for indigenous acquisition for the military, specifically for Indian Armed Forces, Navy and Air Force. Third, that is India plan new security testing for smartphone. Second last, there's two editorial for the discussion. The first is a case for better electricity public hearing that talks about impersonal grievance redressal mechanism. And the second editorial that is India and Italy friendship that is a turbulent world. So apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming problems examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I begin this session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. And if you're looking forward for UPSC CSE Prelims Plus Mains Examination, we have an option for integrated test series that you can avail. It's a comprehensive test series that will provide 30 prelims and 8 mains All India test, which will be followed by free mentorship. Test on PYQs will be there, which include test on current affairs, CSAT and full length test. There will be flexible date and schedule as per the convenience of the aspirants and free IS guested magazine will also be provided. So do not wait for such a part of the opportunity where you missed it out. So grab this opportunity at the earliest and the video description will link there where you can check that link and register yourself for integrated test series 2023 prelims prep meets. Starting the discussion with the first news of the day, that is RBI has permitted other countries bank to trade in Indian rupees. Something important for general studies paper 3 under the subtopic that is Indian economy and issues related to planning, mobilization, resource growth and development. So Reserve Bank of India has approved a foreign bank that is 18 country bank to open a Vostro account to settle international rupees transition. I have talked about Vostro and Nostro account in our previous discussion. In this session or in a later part of the video, I'll be giving you a brief about the Vostro and Nostro account. So how this news has emerged because recently the Minister of State for Finance has responded to a question in Parliament where he has categorically said that the government or the central bank has granted 60 approval in total so that the domestic and authorized foreign bank can open a special rupee Vostro account in correspondence uh, with 18 other countries. Uh, this will be the major nations that include United Kingdom and Germany. So, which 18 SA countries hai, jin ke saath special rupees Vostro account which is also known as SRVA account will be open. I'll tell you the list of these 18 countries with which RBI has given the approval. Now, before we jump to the part of the countries, just look into the background, how it's all started. So if you see the background process about the special was to rupee account, that is SVRA, it started in July 2022 when RBI announced that there will be an additional arrangement for invoicing payment and settlement of export and import in Indian rupees, right? And why this announcement was made, this was made in the backdrop of commodity crisis that has triggered the Western sanctions against Russia. And after sanction, your SIG president has categorically said that for a special military operation, they're looking forward for alternative way of mechanism, where ruble or all the methods are, Explore karne ki baat ki and even the swift mechanism that was working where Russia was being sanctions. So they are looking for alternate mechanism where invoicing payment and settlement for export and import can take place. 
Now about Vostro account, just to give you a brief, I'm not getting detail about this uh, because Vostro is an account that a domestic bank hold for a foreign bank in a domestic bank currency, right? If this is the case for India and the owners and the beneficiaries of the money will be the exporters and importers for both countries. As we already had discussed earlier about the Nostro and Vostro account, just to give you a simple meaning, Nostro means this is a Latin word which means ours and Vostro means this is for yours. So the company, uh, basically the Indian bank will be allowed to operate their banking in the foreign bank which, is, which do not have their physical presence in India, right? Now, talking about the countries that were allowed for the Vostro account, the country include Botswana, Fiji, Germany, Guyana, Israel, Kenya, Malaysia, Mauritius, Myanmar, New Zealand, Oman, Russia, Seychelles, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, Uganda, United Kingdom to open Vostro account as of now after the assent which was given by the Reserve Bank of India. Now, merits of trade in local currency, ki agar baat kare, the local currencies has mooted a solutions where uh, agar is bar ki war ki situations ki baat kare, which has impacted the global supply chain, specifically if you talk about Russia and Ukraine. So this will help to get the part of the settlement. And India has finalized the trade pact with many countries like United Arab Emirates, Australia that have begun negotiation and even the EU making inroad for the national currency in bilateral trade global values. Now, moving to the other news, Centre called for indigenous acquisitions of the military equipments, something important for general studies paper too, that is government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations. So after a long uh, efforts where there was no progress made in terms of ruble payment, for the weapon purchase, now India is looking forward for indigenous acquisitions of the military equipment. So if we talk about acquisitions, ki, this was mostly there from Russia and Russia has been sanctions and swift and India is not able to you know, carry forward with the complete payment process or where we talked about payment ki baat ki thi, uski process bhi India and Russia ke beech mein proper settlement. Pe nahi now, what uh, government of India has said that they will be procuring series of part of the military acquisitions indigenously made. Now there are several acquisitions that is under considerations and this is likely to be placed in a month after the approval of the cabinet committee on security. This is an apex body which take care for the decision regarding the procurement for defense forces. Now Konpan say say approved acquisitions or procurement plan hai government ke paas, which has been approved we will see one by one. First for Indian Navy, Indian Navy ke liye kya kya procurement honi hai? The first is next generation offshore petrol vessel, right? So in 2018, the Defense Acquisition Council has approved the procurement of six next generation offshore petrol vessels, right? With the state of art technology. And these platforms are aimed to strengthen the maritime security, which is undertaking the magnitude of operational load, right? This is one for Navy. Now the second for Navy is next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries. So the Defense Acquisition Council in 2019 has approved the procurement for this for the deployment along the coast, right? So coastal areas ko strengthen karne ke liye next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries ki baat ki gai. Now these are fitted with BrahMos to surface to surface supersonic cruise missiles and they have been basically uh, developed and made by India's BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited and Russia's joint venture companies. Now the second category is Indian Air Force where radar system will be procured. So for Indian Air Force, this will be indigenous medium power and high power radar detection system that will be there. And the second is Dronier 228 aircraft by the Ministry of Defense has finally confirmed a contract with Hindustan Aeronautical Limited to procure 6th Dronier 228, right? And this aircraft will be used for transportation and communication duties. And the Cabinet Committee on Security has approved the procurement for 70 HTT 40 basic training aircraft from HAL for the Indian Air Force, right? So I have told you about the Indian Air Force and Navy. Now let's see the army procurement. Army mein kya kya karta nahi hai. So first is procurement 
Him Shakti, that is for the contract. And development will take place with the help of DRD or dedicated communication satellite system will be developed. And indigenous defense control and reporting system is in pipeline. Now, GSAT 7B in 2022, the Defense Acquisition Council has accorded the approval for the procurement of GSAT 7B for the Army. So these are the pipeline projects, although approved, will be very soon part of the Defense Forces. Now, whatever we have discussed, this is a part of the revision. Even you can take this screenshot. What I have told revision purposes, you can note all points points. Now, moving to the other news, that is India plan new security testing for smartphones, something important for general studies paper 2. That is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations. So, uh, government is looking forward with a plan, with the new rules that government has come up in terms of security rules, that the smartphones pre-installed app will now be allowed to be removed, right? And this call for a mandatory screening of a major operating system. Why government has taken this decision, I'll tell you in the later part of the video. But before that, the new rule could extend to the introductions of timeline and the world number. But the smartphone uh, like businesses, major companies ki baat kare, that include Samsung, Xiaomi, which has a uh, sub-brand in India as a name, Redmi, Vivo and Apple. So, jitni bhi pre-installed app honge, wo ab restricted nahi honge removal ke liye, uninstall ke liye. Now, the option will be given that the individual can uninstall it because of the security reasons. Now, what is the concern why the government has come up with this decision? The Ministry of IT has considered the new rule amid the concern of spying and the abuse use of user data. This is concerning the part of privacy of an individual. So the pre-installed app can weaken the security point and India has ramped the scrutiny for Chinese business since 2020 border escalations, which is there in the line of actual control in the Eastern Ladakh region. Uske baad se, government of India ne almost 300 Chinese app ko ban kiya, which include the popular app known as TikTok, right? And as per the government directives and even the expert or of the opinion, ki jo pre-installed app hai, like camera is critical to the part of the users and government must take a distinction between these app and non-essential to impose the screening rules. Now, India smartphone market ki agar baat kare, India is a fast growing market which has a dominance of Chinese branding in India. So some brand like Xiaomi and uske sub brands or bade enterprises ki baat kare, BKK Interelectronics, which has Vivo and Oppo as an account, has 47% of the total sale that is counterpoint the data shows. And South Korean Samsung has 20% share and Apple has just 3% of Indian market share, right? So this is relevant for many other government examinations also. Now, the first editorial for the day, that is a case for better electricity public hearing. Something important for general studies paper too, that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from the design and implementations. So in this editorial, the theme is about the grievance and impersonal hearing of ERCs. We'll see some issues like CERC, Central Electricity Regulatory Commissions, ke mein thoda dekhenge. states that have reverted to in-person hearing, important and popular public hearing, pros and cons of online hearings, and the way forward. Now, there is a debate whether that in-person hearing should be allowed or should be continued or online hearing that was there should be continued. Now, the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission in this regard has issued a public notice and announced that the hearing of public grievances will resume in person mode because of COVID-19 restrictions, the grievance redressal was taking place online and even to the fact this grievance redressal was not working at the fullest and resolution that should be given was not there. So this decision is where it will be significant impact. Hogi. The scale of the operation of electricity distributing companies is with the annual revenue requirement is 20% of the union budget. Now, in terms of CERC, basics ke baat kare, this is a regulatory power sector in India. The statutory body jo functions as a quasi-judicial status under Section 76 of the Electricity Act. 
and this was an institution which primarily aims to regulate the power generating companies owned and controlled by the government of india and it generate the com- basically it is generating company that has composite scheme for power generation as well as interstate transmission of energy including the tariff and generating company so this is basically the apex body in india to regulate the part of electricity now states this no ne in person here ki baat ki hai kuch states ke naam hai tamil nadu telangana these have uh, averted or reverted to the in person thing they will resume it aur kuch aur states ki agar baat kare rajasthan and uttar pradesh has recently held public uh, you know hearing online but this was not working see iske apne pros aur cons hain online aur offline ke we'll see that but uh, in person is something which is more convenient right so the state electricity regulatory commissions in maharashtra and andhra pradesh have tried to increase and diversify the participations through revision public hearing in different locations now kuch important public hearings ki agar baat kare in person hearing ke to ek platform banayi gayi jahan pe logo ko ek mauka diya gaya that they should be coming up with the online also and this will facilitate the meaning and interactions with the various sectors that will help the consumer network and enable the collective actions right in person paves way for consensus jahan pe jo enhanced credibility hai even for the decision of the complex matter should be taken so in uh, online there there might be some glitches and even people are not that equipped that they would be able to you know get their problem or grievances done via online so in physical or in person is something that is comfortable to every section of the society now in addition to cost the consumer concern is with regard to the quality and supply that they will be getting and evolving in terms of the final resolutions now pros and cons kya hai your hearing or challenges kya hai so if you see the pros and cons online hearing is very options during the covid 19 as i have told you in the beginning now this hearing is a welcome step agar baat kare kuch aise logo ki where it is not possible to go in person for them it is very good but technological access ki agar baat kare india mein this is again a shortcoming everyone is not comfortable with online now issues of poor internet connection is again issue technical mishaps hoti hain and even uh, hindrance that is there from this erc websites and their overall service now ercs that is electricity regulatory commissions in the states have a great control over the platform in the online hearing also now is context pe way forward ki baat kare public hearing must be conducted in a hybrid mode right choice should be given to customers to individual that whether they should want they want to go online or they want in person here right to ye options hone chahiye unke paas and public hearing is a major problem uh, platform jahan pe jo social actions hai participants ko enable karti to provide the community building ensure transparency accountability and even improve access to public proceeding that is needed so public hearing is definitely a platform for social action right it call for social action where the grievance is properly taken care of and it is crucial that electricity sectors with in person online hearing would boost public participation to a larger extent now moving to the second editorial of the day that is india and italy friends in a turbulent world something important for gender studies paper 2 that is the effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries on india's interest and india's diaspora now what are the issues first we see our theme that is india italy strategic partnership kuch iske theme under issues ki baat kare moving towards strategic partnership five year action plan italy multilateral initiative collaborations sector health sector mein kya collaborations hain and the way forward Now this year 2023 marks 75th anniversary of bilateral relationship between India and Italy aur ye ek aise relationship hai jahan pe dono countries ne bilateral relationship ko strategic relationship mein convert kiya hai and which is helping both countries and opening the new chapter for the defense sector the prime minister of Italy was on a visit to India and she has uh, participated in the Raisena dialogue uh, which is again very important in terms of security and part of strategic partnership and the prime minister of italy has categorically noted that italy will be joining indo pacific ocean initiatives now moving towards strategic partnership ki agar baat kare the elevation of bilateral relationship to a strategic partnership has been established for the first time marking 75 year of bilateral relationship between india and italy 
स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप जो है वो फोकस करेगी कुछ स्पेसिफिक एरियाज पे विच इंक्लूड डिफेंस साइबर सिक्योरिटी स्पेस एंड एनर्जी नाउ इन रिसेंट ईयर इटली एंड इंडिया हैज बिन ऑलरेडी इंटेंसिफाइंग देयर कोलेब्रेशन चाहे वो अगर वैल्यू की बात करें जैसे तो फिफ्टीन बिलियन यूरोज इन ट्वेंटी एंड द डबलिंग इज रिकॉर्डेड इन ट्वेंटी कुछ फाइव ईयर एक्शन प्लान है बिटवीन इंडिया एंड इटली सो दिस इंक्लूड द एरिया ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांजेक्शन फूड प्रोसेसिंग एडवांस मैनुफैक्चरिंग क्रिएटिव इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर वेरियस काइंड विच वॉज साइंड एंड एडोप्टेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इटली के साथ मल्टी इनिशियटिव की अगर बात करें जो कि इटली के कॉलेब्रेशन ने हेल्प की है और भी कंट्रीज को स्पेसिफिकली इफ यू सी द पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल मल्टी लेवल इंगेजमेंट सो रिसेंट ईयर इटली हैज ज्वाइन मल्टीलैटरल इनिशिएटिव प्रमोटेड बाय इंडिया जो कि इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे है दिस इज इंडियन ओशन रिम एसोसिएशन दिस इज आई ओ आर ए एंड कॉलेशन फॉर डिजास्टर रिलीज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू द इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस राइट सो दीज आर द कॉलेब्रेशन विच इटली इज हैविंग एक्टिवली एट मल्टी लेवल इनिशियटिव एंड इंडिया एंड इटली हैज ऑल्सो फर्दर इनहेंस द कॉलेब्रेशन इन कल्चरल फील्ड इनहेंसिंग द पार्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी विच इंक्लूड फैशन डिजाइन सिनेमा एटसेट्रा Now, in healthcare sector, uh, basically during the pandemic, both countries has collaborated in the beginning of exchange of experiences and practices with humanitarian initiative that we have also promoted in the joint research project. Right? So, Italy or India ne joint initiatives ke saath kuch aise efforts liye jo ki dono countries ko mutually help ki. Now, in the way forward part, the link between the two areas has become significantly subsidized between both countries. in terms of maritime and digital connectivity and security so these are the key area first is maritime second is digital connectivity and third is security now italy offer a full support to india's g20 presidency which india is holding till november 2023 right and italy has expressed that the committed to enhance the european strategic partnership and support the ongoing fta that is free trade agreements and agreements on investment to protect the geographical indication and protections right so jo geographical indication protections hai jise gi protections bhi kehte hain that will be taken care and there will be other agreement that will call for more robust mechanism between india and italy now moving ahead with the mcq questions of the day before I proceed just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions for first question the correct option is b for second question the correct option is c Today's MCQ for practice that is gamma ray burst. Consider the following statement: Gamma ray, a powerful astronomical cosmic burst of high energy gamma rays, and this is uh, emit more energy with our sun that emit in its lifetime. Second is United Nations Industrial Development Organization. It is specialized agencies at United Nations to assist country in economical and industrial development. It is headquartered at United Nations in Washington, United States. so do check it out for the correct options this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern you can reach out to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video